I would like to give some examples of using the limit laws to help us calculate limits. And the first example I'll look at is the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 1 to the third power. Now, when you look at x plus 1 to the third power, you should think secretly that's the same thing as x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. So we can use our multiplication law that says that this is secretly just the same thing as the limit of the first function, x plus 1, times the limit of the next function, x plus 1, times the limit then, we use again, of the next function, x plus 1, all as x goes to 2. But notice what you have here. You have this limit times itself times itself. That would just be the same thing as the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 1. All 2, the whole limit, whatever the limit comes out to be, raised to the third power. This is an example of a more general law. Whenever you have the limit as x approaches whatever constant of a function to a power, you can think that's just f times f times f n times. So then you can break that up as the limit of f times limit of f times limit of f n times, which will just come out to be the limit of f as x approaches c n times to the nth power. I call this uh, the, 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 the power rule. And it turns out that this doesn't only work for integer powers of n, but also for, for non-integer values, like, like, like fractions, like f to the one half. For example, if you have the limit as x goes to some constant of the square root of a function, well, remember, the square root of a function is secretly just the same thing. That's just the same thing as a limit of that function to the one-half power. So, so if this doesn't just work for integers, but you believe me, it also works for, for fractions, then this should just be the same thing as the limit of f of x all to the one-half or that is the square root of the limit of f of x as x goes to c. You might say you can pull the power out of the limit or you move the limit into the power in the same thing with roots, square roots or, or third cube roots, fourth roots, whatever you need to do, any powers. Okay, so let's come back to this example then. So the limit as x approaches two of x plus one to the third is just whatever the limit of x plus 1 is, then raised to the third power. Okay, how do we calculate the limit of x plus 1? Well, we say that's the addition of two functions. So using our, our addition limit law, the limit of f plus g is the limit of f plus the limit of g, we can rewrite this as the limit of the first function, just x, plus the limit of the second function, which is just 1 all raised to the third power. Then let's think, what is the limit as x approaches 2 of x? That is, what is x getting arbitrarily close to as x gets arbitrarily close to 2? It sounds redundant because it is. It's just saying if x is approaching 2, then the limit of x will just be 2. How about the second function? Well, this is a constant function. It's always equal to one. That means no matter what x is, it's always gonna be one. So when you ask, well, what is this function approaching as x approaches two? Well, it's one, it's always one. Doesn't matter what x is approaching, this is always going to be one. So that limit is one. All raised to the third power, which gives you three to the third or 27. Let's look at one more example. Let's consider the limit 
as say x goes to 3 of 2x squared plus x minus 1. What do we get? Well, notice you have the addition and subtraction of some functions. So we'll use our limit law to say that the limit of the sum of two functions is just the sum of those limits. It's the limit of the first function plus whatever the limit of the second function is. Then the minus, so it's minus the limit of this last function of a constant function one as x approaches three. The limit of two times x. That was our limit law for k times a function. If you have a constant times a function, the limit would just be two times the limit of the original function. That is, it's two times whatever the original function x is approaching. You can pull the constant out. Here, the limit of x as x approaches three, well, we just did that kind of analysis. As x is approaching three, x is approaching three. The constant function one is always one. So as x approaches three, this will just stay at one. What do we end up with? The limit as x approaches three of x is three. When you time that by a two, add three and subtract one, which then gives you six, ah, ah, this was x squared. This was x squared, ah, we almost made a fatal mistake. This is x squared. But then we can remember the limit of x squared is just the limit of x squared doing this trick right here, using our power trick. So it will just be the limit of x, which is three squared, which gives us 18 plus three minus one or 20. Now, you might look at all this work we just did and be like, wait a second. Didn't you just end up with the original expression, but with your three plugged in for your x's? Look, it's the exact same thing you had at the beginning. You're just plugging the three in for the x's. That is, it seems like in this case, expand it all out, all it accomplished was it was just giving you permission to plug in the three, and that is exactly right. This is just giving you permission to plug in. In general, whenever you have a polynomial, whenever you're trying to calculate some limit as x approaches a constant of a polynomial, I'll call it p for polynomial of x, this exact same thing will happen. Since a polynomial is just some powers of x multiplied by some constants added and subtracted together, you'll be able to break it down piece by piece and end up with what looks like just plugging in the original constant. That is, you end up with just a polynomial with the original constant plugged in. Now, that's not always the case with limits. This is a special thing that takes place with polynomials. And in the next video, we'll see some examples where this doesn't work. But for polynomials, it does. We've seen that when you have a polynomial, you're able to just expand it out and end up just plugging in what the limit is tending towards.